Welcome, everybody, to Ask the Attorney. My name is Brad Latchett. I am General Counsel for the Professional Insurance Agents of the Northeast. And today we have a question on renewal premium. So specifically, my client received their renewal policy. Their premium increased by 20%. Doesn't New Hampshire law require a carrier to provide advance notice of the increase? Yeah, good question. Obviously, uh, they're seeing a lot of premium increases now. So New Hampshire law does have um, some rules regarding premium increase, but it only applies to premium increases of 25% or more. So if an insurance company is increasing premium, like in this case by 20%, no notice is required. Any Basically any premium increase under 25%, the policyholder is not required to get any sort of advance notice. Now, if an insurance company is going to increase premiums by 25% or more, then there is a notice requirement. And it's actually kind of two-tiered. You can get a little bit of it confusing. So under the law, insurance companies have to provide at least 60 days notice of the premium increase to a policyholder. So in 60 days in advance of the premium going into effect, notice should be given to the policyholder of the premium increase. Now, it sounds like I'm going to be talking out of both sides of my mouth, but there is a little bit of a, a, a wrinkle here. So despite the fact that an insurance company has to give 60 days notice, there's an additional rule in place that if a carrier doesn't give at least 30 days notice, that the premium increase cannot go into effect until there has been at least 30 days of notice. So again, in summary, under the law, carriers are supposed to give 60 days. If they don't, they have to give at least 30 days and the premium increase can't go into effect until they've given that at least that 30 day notice. So uh, again, um, for an increase of under 25%, no notice is required. Above 25%, it's that 60 and 30 day time period, which I just discussed. Hopefully that's helpful. Um, if you have any questions on this or anything else, please feel free to reach out to PIA at resource center at PIA.org or govaffairs at PIA.org. Again, my name is Brad Latchett. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hopefully I'll see you in the next edition of Ask the Attorney.